Alrighty guys, so it's getting a little bit later. Uh, we've got the uh, combiner box open. We've got the ground line uh, run. Over here on the other side now. And I am running another buried ground rod. I hope you guys like that. Um, it's working out pretty good so far. These things, uh, they stay hidden. Doesn't bother anybody. You don't have to worry about anybody getting hurt. Uh, you know, I've got a lot of amateur radio equipment as well, so pretty much grounding everything is going to be really important so I don't get a lot of feedback for that type of stuff. The radio equipment can be exceptionally um, delicate as far as that stuff goes. Um, I'll also be able to ground the uh, solar array because um, I'll have two arrays up there eventually. The first array will probably run down and the second array down to here as well. Um, but if I start getting feedback, I'm going to have to do another ground rod. Alrighty guys, so I just got done pulling the uh, PV line through this big piece of conduit here. Because um, the conduit's going to run up to the uh, junction box, or the combiner box, up above. And I went ahead and made sure to mark the uh, line. So red's going to be positive anyways. That way we've got those done. And I just used the little rings right here to mount it on there just to get the... Uh, the line as straight as possible for now. Alrighty guys, so the next thing I gotta do is because where the uh, connector here runs into the back of the box, these screws are too long. Um, so something I really enjoy about this particular pair of pliers is it has uh, two pl places here where you can actually cut screws. So you insert the screw in there, it has the uh, couple most common sizes anyways are labeled there on the pliers. But what you do is you thread them through there, then you can pinch them off, and as the, the screw backs out, it actually kind of re-threads that little bit that you uh, cl clipped off. Okay, so there is the model number, just in case you guys want to get something like that. Alrighty guys, so we've got the uh, positive and the negative anyways, the negative wired into the bus bar, and the positive up there. I remember as I was saying, Eventually when we get the second array, the other breaker will go in there. And so it's got the uh, little combiner piece up there to combine those breakers to run it down um, to the uh, charge controller. Alrighty guys, so we've got the charge controller uh, connected up. Uh, got the wires run to the inside of the house. Got the new combiner box down here installed. It's looking good. Um, now we just got to get back up there on that darn roof and uh, hook up the panels. Um, definitely make sure that your switches are set to off. Um, one last thing we have to do is wire the uh, charge controller into the batteries. And then uh, that's the last of the inside wiring.